You've got a little bit of buffalo head that Mr. Stephen Lee brought us today. I know this is typically not a bird that gets cooked very much. It's a little game here. Most people don't tend to like it. You hear a lot about chilies and sausages. But we're just going to talk about some different ways to do it real fast. I've just got it marinated in sort of a teriyaki here. That's just going to kind of cut down on that gaminess that a lot of people complain about. Um, most of that flavor that you find in these birds when you hear liver and things described to talk about them is a minerally taste. And a lot of that's actually found in the fat. So if you can breast this bird and get the skin and get the fat off there, you're going to find you don't have those problems quite as heavy. Uh, and again, what we've done is just kind of sweet with teriyaki, a little spicy, some garlic and some pudding and things like that. And just got a nice hot sizzle pan here. And we're just going to get a nice crust on the outside of that, caramelize it up real pretty. This is something you can do on a camping trip overnight. You don't need ovens, you don't need any kind of craziness. You're just a real quick sear. Duck, in my personal opinion, is best eaten somewhere between mid-rare and maybe a hard medium. We're not gonna go very far with this at all. I know a lot of you guys keep the males and we let the females go. The females are just fine to cook. If you wanna stuff that male, those beautiful iridescent greens and purples, I totally understand. But the big thing we wanna avoid is killing these animals and not doing anything with them. I work here at the Yacht Club. We have a deal with the guys at Intercoastal Safari. Please bring me your birds. I love the challenge. I love the appreciation that comes back from it. Again, as I said, we're only gonna go about medium, medium rare here. So we're almost ready to take these birds off and we're at what, a minute and a half maybe. This is a very versatile animal. Beautiful as well. I understand why I'm hunting completely. So we're about where I wanna be. We're gonna crank the heat up just a little bit more to get almost all the way there. See that beautiful charm we've got there? Flip her over one more time. Just a little more of that quick marinade that we talked about. And all this is going to be store-bought. I made it from scratch, but you don't have to. And now we're going to cut the heat and just let her finish off. And now we're ready to cut. Grab myself a little glove here. Of course, you don't need gloves if you're just on your camping trip. But I just want to show you the inside of this bird. Like I said, somewhere between mid-rare and medium is my perfect length. So this is right a beautiful medium-rare there. So we're just going to slice them down. And we've got some other local ingredients here that we're playing with. I made a kumquat sweet and sour. A gentleman brought me some kumquats right out of his front yard. And some local grown broccolini. We're going to set him right on top of there. Then I've also got a lightly pickled spicy tomato salad from a grower, again, less than 50 miles from where I'm standing right now. We'll just top him off right there for a little acidity, a little color, and a little bite, and then just some blood orange garnish. And look at that, a bird that nobody thought you could eat made a beautiful dish. You bring me this animal, and I would love to make you something like this and have you come to how much you liked it.